I'm Ann Bakken, and this is Adam Bakken. In 2003, Reservoir Church had its first 40 days of faith and raised enough money to buy our current building. Back then, our church was meeting at the Morse Elementary School over on Memorial Drive in Cambridgeport. Sunday services were in the gym, so every Sunday we had to build and tear down our entire church setup, including the stage that we use in the sanctuary today. Adam was a sound roadie and helped set up the sound equipment and the speakers. From that, I have ingrained in me that when you coil cords, you alternate loops in different directions. Anne was part of the cafe team. In addition, our community groups took turns helping set up all of the chairs and restacking them. It took an army of dedicated volunteers to set everything up and then break it all down and store it each and every week. Our church was bursting at the seams and we actually expanded to three Sunday services, 9.30 in the school gym, 10.30 in the school auditorium, and then 11.30 back in the gym. What this meant was that the pastor doing the sermon basically preached at 9.30, went immediately to preach the 10.30 service, and then went back and preached the 11.30 service. Exhausting. We were also warned by the school that a change in administration there might mean we were kicked out. We knew we needed a building of our own. I remember the senior pastor at the time, Dave Schmelzer, talking about potential locations we could maybe purchase and move into. But every time, MIT or Harvard would swoop in and be ready to pay in cash. We knew we needed to be ready when God provided us the right space. So that Easter season, our church had its very first 40 days of faith during Lent. All of our small groups were participating in the same activities and practices. We were reading through our first daily Bible guide, praying for six friends to experience more of God and praying Psalms daily. We were doing this with our friends in community group, and we were in one that Adam was co-leading. We were all praying about our own part in buying a building for our church. A building fund pledge day was scheduled for two Sundays before Easter. In the weeks leading up to that day, we all asked God what we should personally give. It was all very exciting and super faith building. I was working and Adam was job hunting and temping. And it felt really exhilarating to stretch and dream about how we could individually contribute. I remember making a pledge, but telling God he needed to give me a full-time job to be able to fulfill it. And ultimately later that year, I did find that full-time job. I myself pledged a significant chunk of my savings as a one-time gift and 10% of my salary for three years in addition to my tithe. I was 24 at the time and it felt like a lot, but I was also excited to take part in finding a church um, a permanent home. And I really loved our community and wanted it to thrive. And it was exciting to be a part of something much bigger than myself. When the pledge date came, it was amazing. $1 million was raised that day and a total of $3 million was pledged over three years. I was blown away by the faith and generosity of our church. I've heard that this was at the time the largest one day pledge in US church history and exponentially above anything raised by a church our size. One question we were asked to reflect on that Lent was, is God calling you to stay in Boston for the longer term, to be a part of building this church? We have found ourselves answering yes. And we were excited by all God was doing with our community and wanted to be a part of it. And we're still here in 2023, 20 years later, answering, heck yes.